Miss Pantry and today I get to bring you a delicious recipe and this is just in time for spring because spring is around the corner even though it's snowing outside. <laughs> I'm gonna make a cream of asparagus soup and mine has a little bit different twist on it because it's gonna come with a lemony cream to top it. So you'll have to stay tuned because it is so good. Oh, what I've got on my cutting board is uh, one small to medium onion chopped up and your chop on the onion and the garlic doesn't really matter because we're going to be pureeing this at the end. <clears throat> I've got uh, a two and a quarter pounds of asparagus that I've taken the woody ends off of and then another pound in here as well. So hopefully I have a solid two to two and a half pounds of asparagus and that may sound like a lot but right now you can usually get it on sale in fact i got the two and a quarter pounds on sale and these are nice pencil thin uh tender asparagus i got those at costco and the other bundle i got on sale at um, our local kroger store so i've got my five quart cuisinart contour pot here and i'm going to start this off by sauteing the onions and the garlic. I'm gonna saute that up. I'm reserving a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon of uh, chopped garlic for my lemon cream topping. And this is gonna be a cream of asparagus as you see in the title. I also am going to, and this is more for color, for extra vitamins, um, it adds an extra layer of flavor as well. But sometimes if you cook asparagus past a certain point, it can turn a little bit of a, you know, um, almost a uh, olive green instead of a really vibrant green. And I want that vibrant green and then tone it with the cream, if that makes sense. So we will be using heavy cream. We're also gonna be incorporating bone broth into this recipe. I have bone broth that I'll be cooking the asparagus down. So uh, there's seven cups of bone broth here. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut off the tips and um, reserve quite a few of those tips because I want that back in the soup, if that makes sense. Um, I'll cook those off first because I want, and then take them out. I want that back in the end after it's been pureed. So to make you understand better, I'm going to take these tips off, cook them separately in the broth, ladle them out with a spider, and then reserve it. And then this will go in, cut up and cooked and pureed. Okay, so that's how easy this is gonna be. So I hope you guys are gonna stay along for this. And yeah, we'll get over to the stove. I gotta get this butter melted down and saute up this garlic and onion and prep the rest of my asparagus. All right guys, we'll be meeting you over there. <laughs> okay, so I've got my pan heated up and I did put about a teaspoon of olive oil in with that butter. And we're gonna get our onions down and our garlic. And oh, it's gonna be so good. And we're just gonna make these translucent and that's how far I wanna go with that. So while this is happening, I'll go prep the rest of my asparagus and bring you back when this is ready okay, to Okay, so at. a little bit of salt and pepper in here and I'm gonna season again when I get further along in the dish. But you wanna make sure you have a little bit of salt and pepper down on your onions. Not much, it'll help sweat them down. And right about the point where I feel like I can really smell this, I'm going to take these onions out and see they're translucent. I'm gonna take this onion and garlic mixture out of my pan, put it in a dish and reserve it. <clears throat> because I'm gonna bring my stock up to simmer and simmer the little tips of my asparagus and then remove those, shock them in a water bath or a water, you know, ice water bath and then start the rest of the soup. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that I've got my <clears throat> broth up to a simmer, there's about, uh, about a cup and a half of the tips and we're gonna let those go just for a couple of minutes, maybe two, three minutes. <clears throat> I still want them to have a little bit of a al dente feel to them when I put them back in the soup, if that makes sense. <clears throat> and we'll take them out with a spider. I have ice, a water bath uh, waiting here for them. 
and <clears throat> oh, look how pretty they start turning out really vibrant bright green oh the soup is gonna be so good and then I'm gonna take you over and show you how to make the lemon cream sauce to top this with and there's another secret weapon coming out of the cabinet actually the refrigerator for a topping as well that just takes it over the top delicious mm hmm okay two minutes and out of the water bath or into the water bath yum okay so I've got my asparagus tips into the water bath and I'm gonna get these out pretty quickly um, they cool off very fast. I don't want them to become waterlogged. So as soon as uh, that'll be my next step as soon as I get my asparagus in here This is all the rinsed Washed asparagus. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. Oh, it's gonna be so good And I don't put the spinach in till after this is to the tenderness I want and then we'll put our spinach in and I may thicken this up with some potato flake Sometimes I put potatoes in it. A lot of people add potatoes, but I'm trying to cut back on the carbs and the starch. So if I do, I'm gonna add potato flakes so I can really limit how much, or you can actually thicken it with um, uh, a potato flour or a whole wheat flour or regular flour. I might even do that. So we'll see how thick we get this. Mm. Let's go make our sauce. Okay, okay so. I have here, I'm gonna do my sauce, but I wanna go ahead and put my onions and garlic back in with the asparagus because it's time. Look how beautiful, and these are perfect al dente. They're gonna be delicious in the soup. And so mine isn't just a solid pureed soup. It's actually got some body to it, and that's the way we like it. So the onions go back in. I've zested this whole lemon. Part of this lemon is going in the soup itself. So let's get about uh, a teaspoon, um, about half of this. So half of the lemon going in the soup and half going in my, my uh, cream sauce that's going on top, okay? And we're going to add, this is a half a cup of sour cream super easy you guys it's so good and wait till you see what i top it with after that oh my goodness you're gonna love it we want um get the juice of half of this lemon in here and the other half again is going in the soup lemon just brightens up that asparagus i don't know if you guys have ever had lemon squeezed over your asparagus when you roast it. Oh, it's delicious. So that is what's going back in the pot. Yum. And it's just scream spring. <laughs> Even though it's not spring yet, it's trying, but we keep getting snow. <laughs> so, okay, <clears throat> that is going back in the soup. Now we've got our garlic and I took this garlic that was a teaspoon that I reserved I went ahead and chopped it up as fine as I could get it because you don't want a big bite of raw garlic and it is gonna be it's gonna be raw it's going on top now we are going to thin this down with some heavy cream let's start with a quarter of a cup and we'll see where we're at I want it kind of like a creme fraiche, if that makes sense. Ooh, so pretty. And a whisk would do a better job. I think this is perfect. I'm gonna make sure that this is fully creamed together before I top it. And you could put this into a squeeze bottle and squeeze it on, but I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna dollop dollop a daisy because that is daisy mm -hmm. and let this sit and let the lemon infuse and the garlic and give it a taste oh it's so perfect oh my gosh perfect
perfect. Mmm. That's delicious. Okay, perfection. So a quarter cup of heavy cream, and we're adding heavy cream to the soup itself, and a half a cup of sour cream. It's a perfect ratio, and it makes a perfect thickness. <laughs> okay, let's go see how our asparagus is doing. Okay, so now we've got our asparagus cooked down, and you can see how it changes from that really bright green to kind of an olive green, and that's why I'm putting in additional greens, which adds extra nutrient, and I've got my spinach, but I grabbed a handful or two of the spinach and baby kale as well, because why not? It's gonna add a ton of extra vitamins and minerals, and this is gonna cook down in no time, and then we're ready to puree this. So let's get that cooked down. And I'm hoping we don't need to add the potatoes to it, but if we do, it's no big deal. See, that cooks down pretty quickly. We get the wilt going, and then we're gonna get that really pretty green that we want to tone down with the uh, cream. So, let's add some pepper, cracked pepper. By the way, this is a, mm, this is a Pioneer Woman pepper grinder. It's the best one I've ever owned. I'll leave a link in the about section below where you can go click on that link and go get yourself one because I love it. It works so good. I've spent tons of money on other ones. A little pinch of salt just because we added more stuff in there. And I think we're do we're ready for the immersion blender. And you want to be careful with these. Keep it under 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 the liquid. Now that we've got this all blended up, it's really kind of a judgment call. Do I need it thicker? And I say, yes, I do. So we're going to go ahead and add some Idahoan potato flakes to thicken that up. And I've got, these are red potato flakes. So we're going to go ahead, add a little bit, let it thicken, and then um, when I get the right consistency, I'll go ahead and add my cream and turn the heat off, add my cream and my, um, probably going to add that whole package. And that was a four ounce package, uh, pretty much just potato flakes, red potato flakes. And see, it's starting to thicken up nice. And that's what we want. We don't want soupy soup. We want it thick and creamy and oh, so delicious. And look how pretty. Now, if I'd have let the kale and spinach cook down a little bit longer, it would have pureed a little bit finer, but I really like seeing the flecks of the dark green in with the asparagus. I wanna give it a little bit of a taste test so I know what I'm dealing with. And then we can add our cream and our asparagus tips because we remember we've got our asparagus tips, so go ahead and give it a little bit of a taste. Mmm, oh my gosh. That is delicious. I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's very good. Let's add our asparagus tips back in. And those are cold, so they're gonna kind of cool down our soup a little bit, but then we have this chunky asparagus tipped soup that is delicious and we'll add our heavy cream and you're gonna eyeball this how creamy do you want it we like it pretty creamy so give it a stir that was about a quarter of a cup let's add another quarter cup and i think we're good And, yep, okay. So I'm gonna take you over and plate this up and let you get a look at this beautiful, creamy, decadent asparagus soup and see what I top it with because it's gonna have some really deliciousness going on on top. 
Okay, so it's time to dish this up. And I've got <clears throat> a piece of jalapeno cornbread, jalapeno cheddar cornbread with Hawaiian honey on it and butter and to go alongside this soup. <clears throat> and we're gonna dish this beautiful cream of asparagus. And remember the base of the stock is my bone broth, chicken bone broth. Now you could do a veggie stock if you wanted, if you wanted to keep it vegetarian. Um, but we're not worried about that and we're not going vegetarian because I'm gonna surprise you with the topping after I get this clean my beautiful bowl because I don't want anything to mess this picture up, right? <clears throat> now remember our cream? We added plain ha cream in there, heavy cream. But this is for the top. And it is so delicious. And then I've got here I have little um, strips of prosciutto that I'm just going to add. And they're just little ribbons that I cut. And prosciutto, oh my gosh. If you like prosciutto wrapped asparagus, well, I'm pretty sure you're going to like this because it is delicious. Just a few of those right there on top, and there you have it. Ooh, maybe one more. <laughs> and a little bit more of that. Boop! Right there. Yum! Oh, guys, it's so pretty and so decadent. Let me get a picture and I'll come back for a taste test because it's hot. Okay, let's give this a taste. <laughs> I'm excited. Get a little bit of the cream, the lemony cream garlic and the prosciutto and get a taste. Oh, wait, I need an asparagus tip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. This is so decadent with the prosciutto on top. Unbelievable. And you get to dip into that cream anywhere you want. Grab that and an asparagus tip. Put that prosciutto right on top and oh, good Lord. Mm, this is so good. Mm, unreal. I hope you try my recipe mm, because it really is over the top delicious and so helpful for you with all the veggies and the bone broth. You can't ask for anything more out of a meal. So we're gonna go eat and I can't wait to see you next time. I hope that you share this video with your friends and family. And as always guys, if you're not a subscriber, you need to go down there and hit that red button, smash it. And then go um, down below, check all the links that I've left for you. I'll leave a link to this beautiful contour, um, Cuisinart contour pot. I have a set of these and they're just fabulous. Anyways, um, I also have my Facebook page, my mailing address if you ever wanna drop me a line. Um, goodness, I'm gonna have to put some more prosciutto on here because Michael, <laughs> this is his. Whoopsie. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye!